Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and to a product refresh that really, really needed to happen. Now, a few months back, I reviewed the Muckoff Secure Tag Holder, this solid alloy casing for an AirTag that when mounted on your bike will effectively render the AirTag useless. Probably one of the worst products that I've got my hands on in a very, very long time. Now, thankfully, Muckoff did address my concerns by getting rid of that design and coming up with a brand new air tag holder for bikes. Now, given the results of that one over there, I was keen to see if this one was any better. So let's get straight into the details. We'll get an unboxing of this, comparison between the new and the old, and my field test on just how far the signal gets in or out of this device. Over here on the left, I have the older secure tag holder solution from Markoff. And as pointed out in this review, the word air tag or Apple isn't anywhere to be seen on the box, making it a little, uh, a little difficult to tell exactly what this is for if you weren't aware of what an air tag is. This thing, a solid alloy build, uh, very well built, but that was the problem. It was too well built, being a Faraday cage for those wireless signals. Over here on the right, we have the improved air tag. Yes, the word air tag is there. Holder from Markoff, and it's redesigned. Another difference is you get an extra set of cage bolts too. All right, a closer look at this, a very, very different build than the previous model and a lot lighter too. Yeah. On the white scale, what does that mean? Previous version coming in at 23 grams, updated version coming in at 15 grams, and just as a reference, a 3D printed air tag holder coming in at 10 grams. So only a few grams difference between a very lightweight, self-made 3D printed air tag holder and the newer updated Muckoff air tag holder. Okay, now a sound check, although it's not that important because a lot of the time we don't want sound coming from this when it's on the bike, but we'll do one anyway. And the air tag just by itself. All right, not bad. And once we install it in here, no tools required for the installation. in here somewhere, here we go. Air tag goes in. Okay, on to a sound test. Now it's in the holder. All right, a little muffled, not completely silent. But look, to be honest, sound isn't what it's all about. Some people even remove the speakers from this. What we need to know is though, does the wireless signal for Bluetooth and ultra wideband get out from this as it really couldn't from this over here? And to do that, we'll do a simple bench test now. Now the previous version only got about two meters, I think, and ultra wideband wasn't working very well. Pulling up the muck off tag, okay, it's found it straight away. Let me walk away from the bench here in the Llama Lab. And that's working. A lot better than the previous version. But how does it work out in the field? Let's go find out. Okay, back out here for my field testing, literally in a field where I do the distance testing for the signal coming from these air tags. Same as last time, pretty much the same conditions too. Okay, I have the Muckoff air tag installed under the bottle cage here, and I have my standard gravel bike air tag hidden under here. How far can we go? Well, last time I had the full alloy air tag holder from Muckoff installed there, facing out, trying to give it the best chance of working. I got, I think, just under two meters for my first test, and the second test was around six meters or so, but it was horrible. The other air tags were getting around 30 to 40 meters. All right, how far will this one go? Let's find out. With my iPhone now on screen, I have my Aspero air tag. We'll go find nearby. Now, this is the air tag that's just under the saddle here. Nearby, all is looking good. Let's go for a walk and see how far we can get with this air tag. To my right, okay, good, good. Let's keep going, three meters, looking good so far for what we expect to be around 30 meters, six meters, seven meters. Let's keep going, let's keep going. 10 meters to my right, yep. Okay, 14 meters. This is what we expect, but this is the baseline that I'm going to be comparing the new Muckoff tag to. 21 meters, still to my right. Ultra wideband doing its thing for these air tags. 
behind, to my right, behind, to my right. That's no, still got it. 29, 30 meters, 31 meters. Probably out of sight now on the GoPro. 33 meters. As I said, it's ideal conditions for air tags to work. 37, we're gonna get a record today. Let's say 40 meters. Again, this is the standard under the saddle mount, not the mock-off one. 44, get out of here. 45. Oh, oh. 48. Okay, not bad. There's our benchmark, 48 meters for the air tag that's under the saddle. Let's go back and rinse and repeat for this new air tag holder for mock-off. Test number two, and the one I'm really keen to find out, how far does this go? So our benchmark from this plastic air tag holder up here was 48 meters, find nearby. Oh. Okay, let's go to two meters and see if we've beaten our last one. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ultra wide band took a few seconds to kick in. I can confidently say this is a better air tag holder than before. <laughs> 2.73 meters. Oh, it's dropped off of ultra wide band. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. So you can see on this one, it doesn't, oh, there we go, it's back on for ultra wide band. So still better, let's keep walking, six meters. All right, we're back on. 10 meters, 11. Bit of an initial hiccup there with the ultra wide band, uh, not being able to tell me exactly where I am, but let me just try and spin around. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's that's solid. Let's keep going. Now I'd want at least 25 meters to 30 meters out of this. Because if you lose something, if it's hidden in the garage somewhere, someone's taking your bike. You at least want a good radius of where the signal's going to be beaconing or broadcasting if you'd have a chance of finding your lost item. Ha! Ha! There we go. About 32 meters. So not as far as a pure plastic air take holder. That plastic one under the saddle as well is a little bit higher mounted. Should be the same orientation. But we did get 32 meters there. As I said, I want at least 25 meters out of that. So if your bike is tucked away in some bushes just off the road somewhere. That's at least enough distance for people's uh, iPhones on the way past to grab a hold of that signal and possibly, quite possibly, let you know where your lost bike is. Or stolen. There we go. 32 meters. Much, much better out here in the field. So some pretty good results there out on the field with the new Muckoff AirTag Secure Holder, much better than the previous version, which just simply didn't work at all. Kudos to the team from Muckoff for addressing the concerns with the previous product and making one that does work. Now, people have been asking me about the Stealth Tubeless Tag Holders. I'll put those up on screen here. I'm very hesitant to try those, given I run very low pressures in my gravel bike wheels. If I was to bottom out right where the AirTag is, I'd need to check my wheel warranty. If you do run those, let me know in the comments below. How's the signal strength? Do they work? Do you bottom out on them? I think it's a great location for an AirTag, but there's just too many risks involved. Now in other AirTag news, iOS 17, which should be out in a few weeks or so, will have item or AirTag sharing, a much requested feature from AirTag users. So if your kids have AirTags or your partner has AirTags and you want to share those items, you'll both be able to see their location and track them. Now before wrapping up today, just some commentary on a few things I've seen posted online and over on YouTube with clickbait titles claiming that air tags are useless for tracking stolen bikes. To that I and many others call bullshit. These things work and work very, very well. Jump on any cycling community and you'll see people posting they're reclaiming their bikes that have been lost, misplaced or stolen because they had an air tag on them. There's also that fear and misconception that uh, a thief will get a bike, start riding and be alerted they're being tracked. It's not really how air tags work. If they return home or to a place they frequent, yes, they will get an alert, but at which time they know they're being tracked. That's a good deterrent, if nothing else. And on the Find My network, you know exactly where they are or where they discarded the air tag. More information is better than none at all. And for $29 US or about $40 Australian, they are a great small piece of insurance that you may be able to get your bike back or whatever, your scooter, e-bike, etc. I've done extensive testing on these with people hiding air tags around the city here and me finding them. And if you're ever flying with check baggage and you're an iPhone user, definitely throw an AirTag into your bag. It came in very handy for me last year when Swissport lost my bag at the Melbourne airport.
Okay, and with that, we will leave it there. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to support this channel and be across more videos, and we shall see you soon.